Hey guys, so I did this makeup look for Tasha's uh, baby bump photo shoot and I wanted the main focus of this look to be her skin and how glowy and beautiful and natural it looks. So I started off with Stila's uh, Stay All Day Illuminating Beauty Balm and I mixed that with a little bit of Laura Mercier's foundation primer which is more of like a bronzy one and just to give her skin a really nice glow and this is also going to fill in pores and fine lines and just help the foundation stay on and not move around. So I put on top of that the Double Wear Estee Lauder Foundation because it's a really full coverage, but it also um, lets the Illuminating Beauty Balm shine through still. Next I use Max Pro Longwear Concealer and I put that under the eyes in a triangle shape all the way up to the lash line and that's also going to double as a eyeshadow primer when I do the um, lower lash line and I'm also doing this in her T-zone. I'm highlighting the chin area and then along her jawline as well. And just buffing that out with the uh, Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. After I buffed it out, I set her... Uh, highlighted areas with Set and Illuminate Baked Trio by Stila. And this is kind of breaking the rules of photography, but it's just a, such a beautiful, um, it really sets the concealer really nicely and then gives her that glow. And then I went in with Smashbox Bronze Light. And this is just more of like a, a chill bronzing color for contouring. It just makes it look really natural um, nothing crazy, but it still defines the cheeks. It's more for like uh, light to medium skin tones. So I also took this um, around the nose to kind of define it and then along her forehead and anywhere that the sun would naturally hit the face to make her look a little bit more bronzy. And next I mix two Makeup Geek eyesh uh, eyeshadows. No two blushes together. The orange one is Infatuation, kind of like a burnt orange, and then Hanky Panky, which is a pink to give her like the perfect peachy pink cheeks to go with her peachy pink lips. Next, I use uh, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in, I think is dark brown or brunette, one of those two. And I just filled them in really lightly. I wanted them to look really natural, but I also wanted to define them just a tiny bit more because these photos are going to be a little bit further away. And so I took uh, the dip brow in chocolate on an angle brush and just kind of defined her arch and the tail. And it was a little bit messy, so I um, went in with an eyeshadow primer, Eden by Urban Decay. And I brought that all the way from the lash line up to her brow bone. And I also used this and my brush to carve out her brows just making them a little bit more defined and less messy. Next with my Naked uh, Urban Decay Naked Basics palette, I'm using the color Foxy and putting that all over the lid with a fluffy brush. And I don't normally do this, but with a really super light um, eyeshadow, I just wanted to um, put a base there so, so it would make it easier to blend out this color, which is Naked 2, into the crease. Now I'm taking Foxy on a, or not Foxy, sorry, Faint on my pencil brush and just making a small V on the outer corner and blending that up into Naked 2 and going back and forth between my fluffy brush and my pencil brush just to really blend that out. Next on my flat brush here, I'm using uh, Ve 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 <laughs> not Venice, Venus, and I'm putting that all the way from the inner corner to the middle of the lid and up to the crease, and then using Stila's uh, smudge stick pencil, and this is a dark brown, really nice um, for like a really natural looking eyeliner, I guess, and it is um, waterproof, so once you get it on there and all smudged out, it does not move. So I'm using an angle brush to kind of just make the edges not look so harsh. And I'm also taking that on the lower lash line from the outer part of her lower lash line all the way to the inner corner. Well, not all the way, but three quarters. And just making sure it's really nice and tapered by the time you get to that three quarter point. 
And I'm also putting the eyeliner on the brush before, instead of putting it directly onto the eye. This kind of kills two birds with one stone, blending it out and applying it at the exact same time. Then I used Faint again on the pencil brush, the dark brown color, and just kind of set that eyeliner and made sure it was all nice and blended out. Then I used Venus again on the inner corner of the eye and the, I guess, the other one quarter of the lower lash line. Then I curled her lashes because it's always best to curl the lashes. It just makes the eyes look so much more open and up. And it really holds up the fake eyelashes because I'm using today for this look uh, a bigger pair. Aren't they so pretty? And these ones are called Winging by Velour Lashes. They're the doll me ups with wings. They're so pretty. Oh my God. They're more for like a, um, you know, night out look, but they looked um, really good with this, I guess, natural look. We wanted her eyes to look doughy. And I usually put mascara on before I put the lashes on, but I forgot. So I just kind of put a tiny bit on the upper and then on her lower lash line as well. For the lips, I used uh, Natural by Ben Nye. And I um, outlined her lips and filled them in. And I didn't really overdraw them. I was just kind of making them look a little more pouty and just correcting the lip shape. And for the lipstick, I mixed uh, a few colors together from my lip palette. I mixed like a peachy pink and more of a brighter pink and then a brown color just for the perfect uh, pinky nude. And again, breaking some more rules, just highlighting her cupid's bow and her nose. And this is with MAC Soft and Gentle and really getting those cheekbones super highlighted. And I also went down the middle of the face. So once you've done all of that, you are good to go for a glowy, beautiful baby bump photo shoot. Thanks so much, Tasha, for letting me use your face for this tutorial. And I will be posting pictures soon. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a really great day.